We're here um, at the Fulton County Barbershop. Standing next to me is Mike Medina. He's the owner of the barbershop. Uh, started a few years ago, right, Mike? Um, 2013 is when we officially opened our 2013. doors. 2013. Yep. So he's been here since then. At that time, you were leasing the space. That's right. Then he bought the building and uh, has developed this business. Uh, the barbershop is really more than a barbershop. It's kind of a gathering place. A lot of people come here. It's been really successful for you. Yeah, it changed three, my life. Three barbers, and it's been a really fantastic addition to downtown Gloversville. Thank you. And uh, he does a lot more than just cut hair, right, Mike? Yeah, you, definitely. Uh, you do a lot for the community, uh, networks with the rest of the businesses, um, gives free haircuts. To yeah, tell there's, us about that. There's, uh, there's certain occasions throughout the year where we like to do things for the community. And one of the things is we have a um, event that we do every year. We've done it since 2014. It's called Santa and Friends. And, you know, my barbers and I, we dress up as Santa and Friends. Um, and we give out free haircuts for kids 12 and under. We give out gifts on that day. There's a bunch of food um, and and hot cocoa and coffee for the for the family that shows up as well we also do uh, a read to the barber event and we normally do that just before school starts uh, and that basically means is as long as the kid any grade that's even high school if they read a book to the barber while they're getting their haircut the haircut is on us i get my haircut here all the time uh, i walked in the first time i walked in um, uh, there was all these young people in the in the place, and I said, "Do you give haircuts to old people?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, Michael, and Michael said, "Absolutely." And so I I was I, I I've been a regular customer ever since. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome to have you. For real. <laughs> because I didn't see any other old people in here, <laughs> but uh, I I've noticed that sometimes you know I come in here and there's some other gray-headed people there. That's yeah, you know, that's the beauty about this place. Someone once termed this place uh, Gloversville's living room. Yeah. And I and I I love that when they said that because we get people from all ages, all walks of you know, of life. They all come here and it's always a um, a treat for us because we get to talk, we have a lot of conversations here and we get to know everybody's story, we listen to good music, you know, so there's always a, a good vibe here. We try to keep the environment very positive. One of the big focuses has been downtown uh, in redeveloping the downtown, increasing the commercial viability of downtown and increasing the number of um, businesses in the downtown. And, you know, it takes a long time, but we're now at the point where we're getting some real traction uh, with the DRI and with other grants that we've gotten. Uh, for example, the, uh, the Glove Theater has a $4 million uh, restoration now starting. Um, you know, they're doing the plans for that now. Just a couple of blocks away uh, is a, a brand new building going up. The construction's already uh, taking place now and hopefully we'll be we're hoping it'll be finished by the end of the year 75 units for artists and artisans residences uh, in our downtown so you know the whole idea <clears throat> is to develop the downtown uh, to be an arts and culture hub so that there's food music art and, and cultural events in the downtown so any city that can attract that creative economy is building a 21st century economy. And that, so that's what we're doing here in downtown Gloversville. So I think, um, you know, it's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of years in planning, but we are starting to see it actually happen now. So, um, you know, Gloversville, uh, if you, just a few years ago, if you talk to anybody about Gloversville, who lives in Gloversville, they would talk to you only about the past. Now, everybody's talking about the future. Gloversville has a future. <laughs>